Recently, an activist in Oakland was filming a sheriff's deputy at a protest. It was pretty normal stuff. Until the deputy reached into his pocket, pulled out a phone, and started playing some Taylor Swift. What is the difference between the backup on the wall? What is the difference? I don't, I don't, I don't know why we're. Are we having a dance party now? This would be weird if it was the first time a cop played music on the job while being filmed, but it's not. Something similar happened earlier this year when a police officer with the Beverly Hills Police Department played Sublime. Oh, you're trying to take the licensing down. This is a, this is a form of uh, stopping free speech. He's playing copyrighted music, hoping that my live gets taken down. And another officer from the same department played the Beatles. Saying that. <laughs> I'm gonna go talk to you. <laughs> Another one in Illinois kept a country. But I have seven complaints I'm trying to file. That's cops from three different agencies, all apparently trying to use copyright rules to prevent videos of their conduct from being posted online. Why do you have to hide? You can all you want. I just know it can't be posted on YouTube. <laughs> This is the new hotness right here, is that they're reporting it so they can get a copyright screen. That's cute. The Alameda County Sheriff's Office in California says the matter is currently under review. A spokesperson for the Beverly Hills PD told us that it is not recommended that officers play music while being filmed. LaSalle County Sheriff's Office did not respond to a request for comment. This trend has a lot of people angry and worried, and it's not hard to see why. This is all happening in the year after the murder of George Floyd. What if Derek Chauvin could have stopped the world from seeing what he was doing just by turning on the squad car radio? It's hard to say where all these cops are getting the idea that they can use music as a weapon, but it definitely has to do with the fact that all the major social media platforms we use use algorithms and not people to detect copyrighted music. And what those algorithms do can be kind of unpredictable. For example, if YouTube detects copyrighted music in your video, a few things could happen. The video could stay up and just have an advertisement with the money going to the people who own the rights to the song. YouTube could mute your video or block your video entirely. It gets worse if you're broadcasting live. Facebook and Instagram have been known to completely shut broadcasts down if they detect unlicensed music. So whatever you were trying to film next might as well have never happened. Now, the original intent of these algorithms is to prevent people from doing stuff like say bootlegging a concert. But the music industry is full of stories of artists getting hit with copyright violations for playing their own songs and people getting in trouble because someone in the background played a little music. It's obvious that the system doesn't always get things right, and it looks like some cops are trying to exploit that. Now, in each of these cases, the cops have failed, pretty spectacularly. Instead of those impromptu DJ sets getting the video blocked, it went viral. But now this is all out there, it brings up some questions. Like, are these cops breaking the law? Well, it's tricky. Because under most circumstances, civilians are allowed to openly film on-duty police officers. As a matter of fact, Motherboard obtained a memo showing that the Beverly Hills Police Department had previously explicitly reminded officers of this fact. But that doesn't mean it's easy to go after cops who play music. It's probably not a unlawful act, but it is a shameful one. It should be against procedure from police or sheriff's departments. It should not be something that is permitted, condoned, or promoted by officers. But is it an actual First Amendment violation? I don't see that right now. So could, say, Taylor Swift sue the cops for unauthorized playing of her music online? I've seen a lot of people ask this. The short answer is, I mean, she could try, but it probably wouldn't go anywhere. This one involved trying to sue the officer for unauthorized public performance of her music. And to do that, you have to convince a judge that the officer intended for a wide audience to hear that music. But in each of these cases, the cops seem to want the exact opposite, for no one to hear the music or see the video. Let's stop right there, though. The very fact that we've got two groups of people trying to use pop music to screw each other over, I think speaks to a larger problem. The algorithms and the copyright laws are broken. In a society, we've accepted that brokenness so much that we're starting to think of copyright as a potential weapon to silence people. I mean, yeah, pulling up to a neo-Nazi rally and playing Beyonce to stop them from being able to post recruitment videos, it's a pretty clever hack, but it's a hack that anyone can use. One day, some cop might get lucky and figure out how to play just the right song at just the right volume 
to trick the algorithm into shutting some evidence down so that we'll never see the video. Or maybe that's already happened. <laughs>